Hello guys, welcome back for another tutorial. Today I am going to show you guys how to make a reactor. It was requested by this user here. Um, and I have decided today to make a tutorial on how to make this reactor in the background or something similar. Um, today I won't be using the same model for demonstration purposes. Um, but I will show you how you can get this model. Okay, so open up the creation kit. And as always, go up to the top left, go into file, go data, select your fallout4.esm, your master file, and if you're going to add this to an existing mod, make sure you load that existing mod. For me, I'm going to add it to this stack, DAC ESP, which is my custom. It's got a collection of mods that I've made on it, and uh, I'm just going to add it to this one, because that's what I'll be using. So as your active file, if you're going to save it as that, otherwise, if you don't, you'll be saving it as an extra .esp. Click OK in, going to go clear on the warnings, don't need them. Um, now, the first thing I'm going to do is I want to get the file path of the new model I want to have in my um, workshop. And so that one is the fusion reactor, the one where you go and get the fusion cores out of um, to pour your power armor and that. Um, so. I'm going to type in, I know the class name already, but for you guys, you're going to have to do a lot of trial and error to find the right ID. This is the one you would have seen in my previous videos. Uh, you can see the door there, you can get inside it. You can also add the door on it if you want, but I really, I'm not that um, up to date with all this yet. I might release a, a video on how you can merge two objects together, but for now, this is what I've just been using, but um, I'm not going to use this model today. This is another nice one that you guys can use. It's uh, not too large unlike the other one I use. It's a little bit hard to get in space as the one I used before. But this is the one that we want now. Power generator. We want to, um, this is the one where you get the, um, I haven't figured out how you can interact with it to actually put them in and out, but this is the one where you get the, um, the fusion core from. And so what we need to do is we need to get the model for it. So we need to go into edit. Um, click on this little text box, press Control A and that selects all, or you can just drag the whole thing. But I like to press Control A because it captures everything in that box. And then press Control C to copy, or you can just right click and copy, whichever way works for you. Exit out of it, don't click OK, don't click OK, cancel. Um, and now we want to search, we're already in generator. Um, so we just want to go into um, our form type over here, and we want to click up that. Um, this just helps us start making objects in order so we know where everything is underneath each other. First thing we want to do, workshop generator large, we want to duplicate this. We want to go into edit on the copy and we want to rename the last bit or to whatever you want, I'm choosing fusion. Um, and I'm also going to rename this part here to Fusion because that's how it comes up in game when you are adding it this name. So it's nice to have it correct. And I'm going to go into Model and then click on the text box, press Control A and then Control V, and that pastes that model there. And as you can see, my nice new model is sitting there. A couple more things we need to do with this before we finish. Click OK. You can add some sounds, but with this model. There is built-in sounds, which I have not been able to figure out how to get rid of. But, in case that you're using a model that doesn't have sounds, like, like my last model that I had, the big old reactor, you can change and put looping sounds in. Now, a looping sound for this reactor is object mass fusion reactor hum exterior. Now, I'm actually going to put that on there just for demonstration purposes, but in-game, it won't make a difference. Now, activate sound, I'm going to put the pick-up sound. That um, is the, when you pick up a core out of the, out of the Arachter, that is the sound that's in the game when you do it. The other thing you need to do with this is you need to go into Edit Destruction Data. If you do this, go into this one here, click Edit, the same thing. Go into the replacement model and click on edit and control all and then control V and then click OK. 
if you wanted to, you could edit one of these models, but you're going to have to download some other programs so that you can open the game files externally outside of the creation kit. And what you'll be able to do then is you'll be able to add some more polygons to it, change the textures around, and make it look damaged. But in this game, this um, item is not destructible, so they haven't got a destructible version of it. So this is the closest you get for the replacement model. If you don't change the replacement model, what will happen is if your generator gets damaged, it's going to go back to the large generator model. So click OK on that one and then click OK on this one. Um, and that's fine. All of this stuff here should look like that. This should not have to get changed. Um, you can change this. This number here is where you can start having fun with. You can... Um, click on this and you can change the number now keep in mind you really don't need any more than this I highly doubt no matter how many mods you use that you'll ever use more than that um, and also keep in mind that the base game only shows a maximum number of 999 now it is possible to actually get past that after doing some tests I've figured out that 999 is not the maximum power generated in your settlement so, but that's what I like to have, 1000. So just click OK. Uh, click No on create a new form because you've already created one. Yes. Okay, so the next one we need to do, we need to scroll down until we find this one, Gen Workshop CEO Generator Large. We want to duplicate this one as well, and we want to go into Edit on the Copy. Up here, you want to rename the end bit the same way you just named yours. So whatever you added to it or whatever you named your entire thing, Make sure that you put the CO in the middle and leave everything else the way it is up there. Um, this is where we can add some more objects to make it more, uh, I guess, law friendly to the rules of the game to make it feel like it. This is where you can edit all the components, all the required objects to make it feel like it belongs in the game. Now, because mine is technically a nuclear reactor, I am going to edit the nuclear material value and change that to 10. So what I'm going to add is I'm going to add some steel and I'm going to add a fusion core to the list. So I'm going to go new, I'm going to type in C underscore S-T-E-E-L steel. I'm going to make the required list for steel 20. Going to make the required list for screws up to 10. Actually, I'm going to make the required screws 20. Make it a little bit more realistic. Um, the rubber, I'm going to make that 10. Gears, going to make that 30. Copper, I'll leave. Aluminium, I'll leave. I'm also going to add... Uh, going to add ammo. Fusion. Core. Going to make this one four. Okay, so now we've decided what we want our required items list to be. You can go down the bottom here and you can see the match conditions. You can add them or you can change them. I'm going to edit this one and I'm going to make the required perk science four. I'm also going to make another one for local leader. Just type in H and it takes you to has. Has perk. I'm going to go to local leader. Local leader 2. Okay. Now before we finish with this, there's a couple of other things you need to edit and you probably picked that out while I was doing this stuff first. You go into created object up here. And you will... Scroll up and you'll see your new fusion generator there. Okay, so for the advanced users that want to make sounds, um, if you wanted to add a sound for when you're picking it up, um, just type in, for me, I'm typing in fusion and that will give me all my fusion sounds. I'm going to do pick up and uh, power up for the put down sound. And basically what that does is whenever you're in the editor, in uh, your settlement, and you go to move an object that picks it up, and that's the sound it makes. Um, when you're going to put it down, that's the sound that it makes when you drop it, place it somewhere.
So I'm done with this one. Click OK. Create new form. No. There's one more one. There's one more we need to add. If you go down the bottom here, you'll see workshop generator large. We want to duplicate this. And if you right click on the generator large, you'll see use info. And you'll see that generator fusion is there still. And that's because when you saw the first form that we made, um, you did see that it was still said um, the workshop underscore generator large created object. What we want to do is we want to make our own one of these. We want to go into edit. I'm going to name this again, what you named yours before. I'm having a tough time. Okay, now one more task to do. Scroll all the way back up to the top where you made your first class name, your first form. So click on edit on this. And now we want to go down to over to the bottom right and we'll see preview transform. We want to write we want to click on this and we want to scroll up and click on workshop underscore generator fusion. Now click OK. And that's it. So I'm done with this. Click save. And today I'm just going to launch Fallout 4 in a window because it's faster to load. Okay, so go into the workshop. Oh, not structures, go into power. Generators, you'll see the plus sign there. And then you'll see your fancy new generator there. Really cool. You can rotate it around. You can chuck it on top of um, houses and buildings out of the way. Depending on what one you made, it's going to be different sizes. Um, as you, you can already hear the custom sounds on it. Um, you'll notice the um, on the side of the screen you'll see all the um, required objects and stuff are there, all the custom ones. That's all cool. Um, you'll see the local leader and the science there, that's cool. Um, now you can press space on it. Eventually these will be out on Xbox, so whatever. Um, and then attach the wire to there, and as you can see at the top, power 999. Um, it is cool. All the custom power sounds work, except I cannot figure out how to get the um, lights and that to stop working. But yeah, you can see that that turns off the um, power. You can see that you can make sure because the lights on the power pause are off. <laughs> and then you can turn it back on. And then, yeah, there you go. Anyway, hope you like this tutorial. Um, I'll try and release a new one soon, and uh, hopefully we could get some more content coming out for everybody to enjoy. Let us know if you have any special requests for new tutorials, and I'll start trying to figure out how to work it on it. Um, anyway, ciao.